Yoga is an ancient but perfect science, and it deals with the evolution of humanity. This evolution includes all aspects of one's being, from bodily health to self-realization. Yoga means union, the union of body with consciousness and consciousness with the soul. So as we begin, we remember that we only do what we can do. If you experience any pain, back off the pose and we'll catch up with you. And we begin by closing the eyes and breathing in and out through the nose, taking slow, deep breaths. And on your next inhalation, we raise the head as we look up towards the ceiling. And then exhaling slowly, we drop the chin down towards the chest. Once again, we take a deep breath in as we lift the head, looking up towards the ceiling. Exhaling, dropping the chin to the chest. We slowly bring the head back up to center. And then placing the hands in front of you, palms down. We lean. We breathe. Slow, deep breaths. Walking the hands back towards the body, we come back up to center and breathe. Placing the fingertips on top of the shoulders, we take a breath in, and as we do, we bring the elbows back, the chest down the head up. And then releasing the breath, bringing the chin to the chest and the elbows together. Once again, we'll take a deep breath in, elbows out, chest out, head up. And then releasing the breath, bringing the chin to the chest and the elbows together. Bring the arms down, head back up to center, and breathe. We'll take the right hand, place it on top of the left knee, bring the left arm behind. We'll take a deep breath in, and as we exhale, we'll twist to the left looking out over your left shoulder. And then coming back to center, we go on to the opposite side. 
We take a breath in. We place the left hand on the right knee, the right arm behind. We take a breath in. And then exhaling, we twist to the right, looking out over the right shoulder. And breathe. Coming slowly back to center. We straighten the legs, bending the toes back towards the body, arms at your sides. We'll take a deep breath in, and as we do, we lift the arms up over the head. And then exhaling, bringing those hands down onto the legs, wherever they may fall. Maybe you reach the thighs, the knees, the toes. And once again, we take a breath in, we lift the arms up over your head. Bring the arms out to the side. Bring the hands down on the floor. Palms down, fingers facing the feet. Bend the toes back. Lift the hips. Bring the head back. And breathe. Releasing coming back down onto the mat, slowly. We'll bring the soles of the feet together. We slide the heels back towards the body. Wrap your hands around the feet and drop the knees towards the floor. And breathe. And then we'll slide the feet a few inches out in front of you. We'll take a breath in. And as we exhale, we bend forward, bringing the head down towards the feet. We inhale, coming back up to center. And as we do, we extend the left leg straight out and we bring the right foot over the top. And wrapping the left arm around the knee, pulling the knee into the chest. Bring that right arm behind, palm down, and breathe. Taking that left arm and bringing it to the outside of the knee. Point the hand straight up. Take a breath. And as you exhale, turn to the right. Looking out over your right shoulder. Coming back to center. We'll extend the right leg straight out. Bring the left foot over the top. Wrap the right arm around the knee and pull the knee into the chest. Releasing. And then we'll bring the foot to the floor if it's not there. We'll bring that left arm behind, palm down, and the right elbow to the outside of the knee. Taking a breath in, and then exhaling, twisting to the left, looking out over your left shoulder. Coming out of the pose, we bring that right leg back behind you, the sole of the left foot on the inside of the right thigh 
sit up straight. Bring the right hand to the left knee, left hand behind. Taking a breath in and then twisting, looking out over your left shoulder. Remembering to breathe. And then releasing, coming back to center, we'll change sides. As we bring the right foot on the inside of the left thigh, we bring the left hand onto the right knee, bring the right arm behind. Take a breath in, and exhaling, twisting to the right. Releasing, coming back to center. So we come into tabletop, hands and knees. Breathe. We'll take a deep breath in. And as we exhale, we'll slide the right knee up to the right hand as we come into the pigeon. Extending the left leg all the way back. Stay on the palms. We'll come up onto the fingertips. Let the lower back relax and breathe. Releasing coming down onto the forearms. Come back up, and as you do, we'll bend that left knee so the foot comes up. Reach behind with the right hand, bring that foot into the body and breathe. Releasing. Bringing that right leg back. And then sliding the left knee forward. Once again, crossing the foot onto the body. Hands flat on the floor. Stay on the palms and come onto the fingertips and breathe. Once again, coming down onto the forearms, bring the head down as we deepen the pose. Coming back up, bending the right knee, and the foot comes up. Reach behind with the left hand, grab a hold of the foot, and bring the foot into the body. Releasing, letting that foot come back down onto the floor and slide the knee back into tabletop. 
Now we're going to thread the needle on the left side, taking the left arm, bringing it through the opening in the right, coming down onto your left shoulder, resting on the left side of the head, and breathe. Coming back up to center, we change sides. We take the right arm, cross it underneath the body, coming down onto the right shoulder and resting on the right side of the head. And breathe. Releasing, coming back up into tabletop. We'll come into modified runner's lunge. We bring the right foot up outside the right hand. We extend the left leg, lifting the knee up off the floor. Raising the right arm, looking up. Release, hand to the floor, bring the right leg back. And we go into the pose on the left side, the left foot up, outside the left hand. You can either leave the knee on the floor or raise that right knee up off the floor. Twist and bring that left arm straight up, looking up at the ceiling. Coming out of the pose. And we extend both legs straight out behind us as we come down onto the floor on your stomach, chin to the mat, arms alongside the body, and then slide the hands underneath the thighs. And we'll go into the locust. As we take a breath in, we lift the chin up off the mat, we lift the chest, we bring the legs up. And breathe. Releasing, coming back down, chin to the mat. We take those hands out from under the thighs and we bring them out into T position, palms down. In a modified locust, we take a breath in, we lift the chest and the chin, the arms and the legs. Remembering to breathe. Releasing, coming down slowly, chin to the mat. Let's slide those arms up alongside the body and then on top of the back, clasping your hands together. And once again, taking a breath in, lifting the chin, the chest, the legs, the arms. Releasing, coming down slowly, bringing the arms alongside the body. We bring the hands up, palms down alongside the head. We lift the head, the chest, the weights on the forearms, 
as we go into the Sphinx. And breathe. You can deepen the pose just by lifting up onto the palms, into the cobra. And then coming down onto the mat. Slide the hands underneath the shoulders. Curl your toes under. We come back up into tabletop. We extend the right leg straight out behind and extend the light left arm straight ahead. Releasing, and then coming into the pose on the opposite side, extending the left leg, extending the right arm. Releasing, coming back into tabletop. We walk the hand towards the knees as we sit on the heels. Bring the arms behind your back and clasp your hands together. Take a breath. And as you exhale, we'll bend forward, bringing the head down towards the floor lifting the arms up off your back. If you can, bring the forehead to the mat and breathe. Inhaling, coming back up. Release the hands, let the arms come around. Place the palms down on the floor, fingers facing the knees. Lift the hips, lean back, bring the head back, and breathe. Releasing, coming back down to center. We'll come back into tabletop, and we'll lift up into downward facing dog. remembering to breathe. We'll come into the plank, flat back, breathing, using every muscle. And then lowering the knees to the mat. Bring the chin down to the mat. Only the knees, the chest, and the chin touch the floor. Straightening out the body. Sliding the hands forward. Lifting the head, coming back into the sphinx. Lifting up into the cobra for a little additional stretch and breathe. Coming back down onto the mat, we slide the hands under the shoulders, curl your toes under as we lift back up into downward facing dog. We'll bring the feet up towards the hands as we come up into a standing position. We 
You make a nice wide stance, feet apart. And we begin with the triangle. As we extend the right arm up to where the ceiling meets the wall, left arm behind at the same angle. We take a breath in. And then exhaling, leaning out over that right hip, we lower the right arm onto the leg as we bring the left arm straight up towards the ceiling, looking up. Breathe. We use the exhaling breath to deepen the pose, sliding the hand down the leg. Inhaling, coming back up, arms extended into T position, drop the arms. We come into the pose on the opposite side, left foot fo facing the wall, extend the left arm, Right arm trails behind. We take a breath in, and as we do, we lean out over the left hip, dropping the left arm, raising the right, looking up. Breathing. Releasing, coming back up to center, arms are extended. We bend the elbows. We bend the knees. As we come down into the goddess. Inhaling, coming back up to center. Extend the arms, bringing them down to alongside the body. And then bring the arms behind your back, clasping your hands together. Taking a breath in. Exhaling, bending forward, lifting the arms up off your back. You can bend the knees slightly taking some of the pressure off the lower back. Inhaling, coming back up. Release the hands and let the arms float around to the front. We bring the feet together as we do some balance. We'll do the tree. We bring that right foot either to the ankle or to the inside of the knee. Bring the hands to the heart. And then bring those arms up over your head, fingertips touching. arms out to the sides and breathe. Bring the arms back up over your head, fingertips touch. Bring the hands down in front of the heart, bringing that right leg down. And we come into the pose on the opposite side. We bring that left foot up either to the ankle or to the knee. We bring the hands back up in front of the heart. 
Take a breath, and as we do, we lift the arms up over your head. And then bring those arms apart. In the tree. Inhaling, bringing those hands back up back down in front of your heart, and then coming out of the pose, hands at the side, and breathe. We come into warrior two on the right side, we bring the foot facing the wall, bend the right knee, as we bend the right knee, we square the hips, extend the arms, Look out over the right fingertips. And breathe. Taking a breath in. On the exhalation, drop the left arm to the rear leg, raise the right arm, look up, the exalted warrior. And then coming back into warrior two, arms extended, Looking out over your right fingertips and breathe. You come out of the pose, lift the knee, foot to the front, drop the arms. We go on to the opposite side. We bring that left foot towards the wall. We square the hips. We bend the knee. We extend the arms out into T position. Looking out over your left fingertips, we breathe. To deepen the pose, you can bring that right leg back, leaving the left foot where it is. Coming into the exalted warrior, we bring that right arm onto the rear leg, raising the left arm straight up overhead, looking up. Releasing. Coming back into warrior two, looking out over those left fingertips. We lift, bring the foot to the front. We drop the arms. As we come into the pose on the opposite side, we bring the right foot towards the wall, bending the right knee, facing the right knee. Inhaling both arms up overhead in warrior one. Breathing. We take a deep breath in, we bring the arms forward, then down, and then back up behind you, lowering the body towards the knee, and breathe. 
Inhaling, bringing those arms back up into Warrior One. Coming out of the pose, facing forward, bringing the arms down and breathe. And then onto the opposite side, left foot facing the wall, bend that left knee, face the left knee, bring the arms up. Warrior One. Taking a breath in, bending forward, extending the arms straight out ahead, lowering the arms and bringing them back up behind you. We deepen the pose. Inhaling, bringing the arms back up, back into warrior one. We lift the knee, face the front, bring the arms down. Bring that right foot towards the wall, bend the right knee, bring the hands up in front of your heart. And as we take a breath in, we bend forward, and as we bend forward, we twist to the left, bringing the right shoulder down onto the right knee. Inhaling, untwisting, coming back up the way you went down, coming back up to center. We'll drop the arms, lift the knee, come face the front. And we'll go into the pose on the opposite side. Left foot facing the wall, bend the knee, hands up in front of your heart. Take a deep breath in, exhaling, bending forward. And as you bend forward, twist, bringing the left shoulder down onto the left knee. Inhaling. Coming back up, hands in front of the heart, lift the knee, come back to center, drop the arms. Inhale, the arms up over your head. Fingertips touch. Exhaling, bringing the arms down alongside the body. And once again, deep breath in, lifting the arms, oxygenating the muscles. Fingertips touch. Releasing, slowly bringing the arms down alongside the body. We'll bring that right foot towards the wall. We'll bend the right knee. We'll come into the wide angle pose, placing the right forearm on 
top of the knee, bringing the left arm up and over, and breathe. We can deepen the pose by bringing the hand to the floor. Giving us a little extra stretch. Inhaling, bringing the hand back onto the knee and then coming back up. We go on to the opposite side. Left foot towards the wall, bend the left knee. Take the left forearm, bring it down onto the knee. Bring the right arm up and over. Come out of the pose, legs are still apart. Once again, we'll bring the right foot towards the wall, we'll bend the right knee, we'll extend the right arm straight out, making a fist, and with the left arm we'll draw back the bow, raising the right arm. Release, bring that knee up, drop the arm, come back to center. And then on to the opposite side. We'll bend the left knee, we'll extend the left arm straight out, making a fist. Draw the bow back with the right. Raise that left arm and breathe. Release, lift the knee, drop the arms, bring the foot to the front. And now we'll come down onto the floor. Feet on the floor, knees are bent, arms at your sides. And we'll lift up into the bridge, lifting the hips up off the floor, coming onto the shoulders, and bringing the arms underneath the back, clasping the hands together. And breathe. Releasing, sliding the arms out, Lowering the hips. We'll bring the knees up into the chest and give them a hug. And then leaving the legs up where they are, we'll extend the arms out into T position, palms down. And taking a breath in and then exhaling drop the knees to the right as we look out over the left shoulder. Inhale, bring the knees back up to center and then drop them to the opposite side, looking out over your right shoulder. Inhale, knees back up to center, bring the feet to the floor, and then separating the knees to the opposite sides, bring the soles of the feet together, 
and breathe. And then bring the knees back up together. Bring the arms in alongside the body. And crossing the left foot over the right knee, we'll reach underneath the right knee and pull back, bringing the head to the floor. Releasing, and then changing sides. Right foot crosses the left knee, both hands under that left knee, and then pulling that leg back, bringing the head to the floor. Releasing. Bring both feet to the floor, knees are bent. We'll come up into a modified bridge. We inhale, lift the hips. At the same time, bring the arms back over your head. And then taking a breath in, we'll come up into the boat, extending the arms straight out. Legs extended up and out. And breathe. Releasing, bringing the feet to the floor, knees are bent, arms at your sides. Let's extend both legs straight out, arms out to T position, palms down. We'll inhale the right leg straight up. Exhaling, we'll bring that right leg over to the left side as we turn and look out over the right shoulder. Inhale, bring that leg back up and then lower it to the floor. On the opposite side, inhaling, left leg up. Exhaling, bringing that leg over to the right side as you turn and look out over your left shoulder. Inhale. Bring that left leg up, bring it down to the floor, and then bringing the right foot on top of the left knee. We take a breath in, and as we exhale, we drop that right knee down towards the left side, reaching up with the left hand, turning the head to the right. Releasing, let that knee come back up, extend the right leg, take the left foot, place it on top of the right knee, take a breath in, exhaling, dropping that knee to the right, reaching up with the right hand, helping the knee down, looking out over the left shoulder. Releasing, letting that knee come back up and extending the left leg. Bringing the arms down alongside the body.
And now we prepare for relaxation. Make sure you're comfortable. You're warm. We begin by slowing the breath. As you slow the breath, the body relaxes. The body relaxes. So the mind slows, relaxes. And for the next few minutes, there's nowhere to go. There's nothing to do. Just be. You find that every breath that you take in a calming breath, a relaxing breath. In every exhalation, we breathe out stress, We breathe out any pain or illness. And the feet, the ankles, the calf muscles, relax. Thigh muscles relax, release. The lower back releases sinks into the floor, fully supported by Mother Earth. Stomach muscles relax. Chest muscles, relax. As each breath brings you deeper and deeper. The upper back, the shoulders, the neck. All relax and release. Now 
as I count backwards from eight to zero. On each descending number, you'll go deeper and deeper into relaxation. Floating, drifting, as you fall deeper and deeper. to deepen the breath. As we deepen the breath, we flex the fingers and the toes. Letting your mind back from whatever journey it had taken you on. When you're ready, roll over onto one side, keeping your eyes closed.
wishing you peace, health, and prosperity. And we end our session with Namaste. Namaste.